So I know this message I'm about to give is important because I've had nothing but opposition all day since the Lord gave it to me to give to you. So it doesn't matter who I am. It doesn't matter what I do. I'm just throwing out the lifeline today. And I pray that you share this with someone. As much opposition as I had is getting this message out. I know the devil is fighting you for breakthrough. I know the devil doesn't want you free. I know he doesn't want your family free. I know he doesn't want your finances free, but God wants your, your things free. So he sent this message to you and I'm just going to get it out the best way I can. So please share this message, okay? Um, we're talking about fasting for real breakthrough. We're not talking about um, fasting half a day. I'm fasting from the internet and all that stuff. No, we're talking about real change, real transformation. Your marriage is in trouble. Your finances are in trouble. You're about to lose it all. Uh, someone needs to get saved. Your child's about to go to jail. You've got a real situation. Your character is tearing up everything. You're, you're the woman or the man with the issue. And that issue is tearing up your life. And God wants you free from that. So, we're going to talk about how to get free. Why do we fast? What a fast is and how we're going to have this breakthrough. We're doing this 21 day fast right now with training. Uh, we're, we're just getting it right in all areas. We're believing for some real metamorphosis. You know, a caterpillar looks nothing like a butterfly when it's done. And we don't want you to look anything like you used to look. We want God to take over completely your life and you have a fully submitted lifestyle to God and to the word of God where everyone else notices a difference. So here we go. Um, there's one day fast for 6 p.m. to 6 p.m. Jewish calendar, they do things a little different. So if you do 6 p.m. to 6 p.m., the coolest thing about that is that, uh, you know, you look forward to, you get to eat and break your fast the next day. Uh, three day fast, seven day fast, 21 day fast, and 40 day fast. I don't suggest you do, uh, uh, a 40 day fast that the Lord has called you to. Then that would be with, you know, just liquid only. And I'll talk to you about that with safety as well. Also, there's a Daniel fast where you don't really eat meat and you've cut out other things, um, and sugars and different things. And, um, if you're going to do that, extend it to at least 10 days. Types of fast. There's the ultimate fast where there's no bread, no no food, no water, okay? I don't suggest you do those more than three days unless the Holy Spirit has directed you completely to do so. Uh, I do those for regular breakthrough. And when I really needed to change my life completely, when I was about 25, I had to do multiple fasts, three and four and five day fast uh, with just liquid only because I knew I had a lot of deep rooted issues that I needed God to break. Generational curses, uh, personality, things that were fused to my personality, how I was, uh, cheating, lying, whatever I was doing, fornicating, all that stuff had to stop and God truly broke me free where everyone that knew me knew I was a completely different person within three months okay so a liquid fast is where you're drinking liquids only even if you had to get some type of like protein shake or a slim fast shake or something in there uh, if you're doing it an extended amount of time but liquid fast water only is typically what most people do there uh, Daniel fast that's what we talked about cutting out and maybe a, a vegetable based diet only uh, without any meat okay and a partial fast maybe you do through to a half a day or you do 12 hour fast but uh, if you really want breakthrough stick to the ultimate fast and stick to the liquid fast for some genuine genuine breakthrough. If you've never done it before, you can go one day, 6 p.m. to 6 p.m., okay? And watch God do some breakthrough, all right? Biblically, what am I fasting for? To loose the bands, to untie the yokes, to let the oppressed go free and undo every yoke. We are breaking, we're fasting for breakthrough and transformation to hear from heaven. We serve a God that answers by fire. And when you fast, he responds. When you fast with a good heart, you can't be arguing, fussing, fighting, um, cheating, lying, doing what you were doing and call it a fast. God does not accept that fast according to Isaiah 58 and 6. You have to do good to your neighbor. You have to care for the poor. You have to lend. If you need something, you sow what you need. If you need love, you sow love. If you need finances, you sow finances. I learned over the years when I was in the financial bind if I began to sow money in places where people needed it, even though I didn't have it, or I sowed my time, my effort, I began to reap that as I sowed, okay? So, why do I, what is the need? I'm fasting to be free. I'm fasting for change and transformation. I'm fasting for a new heart. Everything starts with my heart. I'm doing things from the heart. I got to fast to get a brand new heart and a new spirit so that I can obey the father. And in that I'm breaking soul ties. So if I'm breaking soul ties or I have a broken heart, I can fast for that. And God will hear that fast and it'll change my entire life. So I need to fast so I can have a better heart so I can do things differently. You can't do things differently with the same heart 
that you used to have. I am burning up. It doesn't matter. That anointing is flowing. So I'm just got to do what I got to do to get this message out. So just pray for me. In addition to that, I'm fasting for my marriage. I'm fasting for somebody to be restored or saved. I'm fasting for a baby, an unborn baby. I'm fasting to break soul ties. I'm fasting to break demonic curses. I'm fasting to break generational curses off the family. I'm fasting so there's no divorce. I'm fasting because my business needs to prosper. I'm fasting because I need to hear some direction from God. I'm fasting because I need to intercede for someone else. And what does fast is fasting bring as a benefit? It brings wholeness. It brings transformation. It brings change. It brings an answer. It brings salvation. It brings pregnancy. It brings a business operation to open up. If you get a job, you get the benefits of your fast. You have drawn closer to God and God has drawn closer to you. Something had to die so something else can live. So I want you to get this message out and do a genuine fast. Do a fast that you can do. Anybody can do a 12 hour fast. If the doctor tells you to fast for something for 12 hours, you fast for 12 hours. So you can fast and if you feel your flesh screaming, I got a headache, your flesh is screaming, your stomach is growling, your flesh is screaming, kill your flesh, turn that plate down. And if you can say no to food, you can say no to other things. If you get an attitude in the midst of that, that tells you you got an attitude problem and God will surrender that to him. Everything he shows you during your fast, I want you to confess it to the father. I want you to do first John 1 9 God you said if I confess it you'll cleanse it everything it shows you jealousy and rage and anger and malice and triggers and things that hurts and harms and get rid of people who you're not supposed to be connected with lay aside every weight this is a time for real transformation beloved this is a time that the devil does not want he didn't want this message to get out so send out this lifeline to the world we need to get this out we need to fast and pray and we need to seek God's face and turn from our wicked ways then will we hear from heaven and he will heal our land and we will hear from him that second chronicles 7 14 turn from your wicked ways god people god's people and then you become chosen instead of just being called many of us are called but few are chosen be the chosen that are submitted to his word that don't want to don't want to harm him that want to love him he said if you love me in john 14 15 then you obey me now you can obey him now you can break through now you can be used by him now you can be trusted by him now you can be faithful now you can be faithful to somebody else now you can tell the truth and you can walk in love now you're not offended now you're walking in the peace of God and the love of God now is your season and everyone else will know it so please share this message this is life or death for some people I feel like and I believe God's gonna use you not just for your family but other people it was exit us when we come out others come out so let us get free so that God can use you as a whole vessel to join you with another whole vessel why would God give you to somebody so you can tear them up and have them crying and shook up and depressed and bring a drama to somebody else's life no he's bringing you so that you can be a blessing so he can join you with some people in a group of people in a job in a situation and put you in a place where you can be a blessing and your ministry can break forth and you can do what you're called to do in purpose but he can't do it as long as you don't get a new heart so let's get a new heart let's fast and pray throwing out the lifeline i'm taryn nicole tarver tnt and here we are today throwing out the lifeline follow me at underscore souls hr keep playing for me as i'm praying for you god bless you